Hey Canucks fans, the Canucks have signed free agent forward Ilya Mikheyev to a four-year contract valued at $4.75 million a season. Yes, using my quick math, that's $19 million over the four seasons for a 27-year-old winger, played all three seasons of his career with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He's a speedy forward. He had 21 goals last season and over his career, 21 goals in 53 games, over his career, he has 72 points in 146 games. So basically, that this a 0.5 points per game player or one point every two games. I really like the signing. If you call the Curtis Lazar a minor signing to bolster your bottom six, Mikheyev can be a top six winger for sure. Like I said, he's got a lot of speed. He's obviously got a nose for the net, scoring 21 goals in 53 games. Extrapolate that, that's a 30 to 35 goal season. And I think this gives the Canucks even more depth, more options now in their top six. I noticed him when in the playoffs. I noticed him in the regular season. I know a lot of Toronto vloggers and people that I, I connect with, they really liked his game. But uh, this is exciting. This is really exciting for the Vancouver Canucks. And now when you look at the Canucks top 12, I was joking around with Parker last night on Canucks After Dark. You had guys like, uh, you know, Sheldon Dries and Lockwood and Rempel being looked at, uh, or Justin Dowling, I should say, looked at as your, your fourth line. Now, unless there's changes, and there may be, because they still got to figure out this cap thing, you could potentially be looking at a, a top nine of Besser, Pedersen, Miller, Horvat, Mikheyev, Garland, and then you still have Pearson, Kuzmenko, Parkolzin, Hoglander, Dickinson, and Lazar. That could be your top 12, and that means that guys like Lockwood and others are gonna be fighting for spots. So you can see how simply adding a player of Mikheyev's depth and quality makes the whole team better, makes the top six better, and then by Obviously, by in essence, uh, it makes the bottom six a bit better as well because a player like Pearson might get bumped down. Does this mean there's a trade in the works, trading away a guy like Pearson, Garland? Not sure. You know, the Canucks still have time to figure out their salary cap. This is day one of free agency, but I'm surprised. I was pleasantly surprised by the Curtis Lazar uh, signing and really surprised by this Ilya Mikheyev signing just because I didn't hear a lot of talk about him being connected to the Canucks, but he's here. He has signed for the next four seasons, $4.75 million. Let's go. Canucks fans, let me know what you think of this signing in the comments below. As always, subscribe if you'd like to. Like this video if you'd like to. Leave a tip or super thanks. Become a member or upgrade and leave a comment down below. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. God bless and go Canucks go.